Be advised, spoiler alert, whatever you want to call it, I'm here just warning you. I'm firing off my warning shots. Inside this video today, there will be some products that'll make you want to drop what you're doing and go, I mean, no lie, I guarantee at least one of you is going to stop what you're doing, look right here at my video when you see the results and just go, Man, good lord. Be careful with them thumb guns there, boys. This thing makes a mess. What is happening, guys? Mike here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we got a, a new brand showcase here with Trade Union Supply. This is a brand that we've previously looked at in the past. We went over all their products in a product review. But I was recently contacted by the brand here and they let me know that they did a complete overhaul. They rebranded, they changed up the products, everything was new. So I decided we needed a brand showcase with a, a bit of review material built in there as well so we could get a new and full look at what we got here. Introducing the revamped Trade Union Supply Co. The biggest change to this brand besides the goods we're going to discuss here in a minute is that they made the jump to plant-based formulas. Right now they're about 85% plant-based and they're looking to be 100% soon according to the brewer Ramsey Shahal. And besides that each of the formulas offer unique attributes and performance so as usual the best thing to do here is to examine them individually and then talk about them together at the end. So let's meet our players here for today. First, we have the Clay Texture Mist. This is a texture spray made from two clays that can be used as either a pre-styler or standalone product because it provides a nice loose hold with both texture and volume. It also comes in a three ounce glass jar for $16 with free shipping in the US. Now using this stuff is super easy. The instructions say to spray it into damp hair liberally. And so you get it all sprayed through there and worked in all nice and then you blow dry for best results. And as I'm doing that, what I feel here as it starts to dry is kind of a combination of slight, slight stickiness and some nice dryness from the clays. It also does a great job of not drying out the hair, which is a standard trap these types of sprays fall into. But here's the end result here. Super nice volume, a smooth matte finish, and even a bit of control here. This could definitely be used by itself for a lazy day hairstyle or alongside a finisher. And for that reason, it gets a big... While we're here, let's move to the clay texture dust. This is a texturizing powder with a lot more to offer than most. It actually contains two clays for texture, control, and finish with arrowroot powder and tapioca starch for reviving the hair as a dry shampoo. It also comes in a nice two ounce glass jar for $14 with free shipping. Now this is actually a lot of fun to use because the results happen quite fast. Here we have blow dried hair, but real quick, we're going to just turn up the volume by adding this right into the hair. You can see as I begin to move it around in there that my hair instantly comes alive with more volume. It's actually very cool. It also becomes more dry so a matte finish is easy to achieve and with that comes some nice texture. This is also able to be used as a dry shampoo which makes it very worthy of a big old. Now let's look at our second spray. This is the Dead Sea Salt Mist but really this is anything but dead. This offers a weightless hold, texture, volume, the works. This one too comes in a three ounce glass bottle but for $16 this time and it also comes in an eight ounce bottle for $18 with again free shipping in the US. I do have to say that using this one is pretty much the same as the clay spray. At least until the hair it's dry it's pretty much the same. You see you spray it in and then you blow dry it of course and here's what we got here afterwards which is actually pretty surprising to me because a lot of salt sprays don't really do much for me. It kind of gives me abstract results or the kind of results you gotta squint at and tilt your head over to see. But here we got some good volume, decent texture and even a tiny bit of hold. The big difference differences though that I see between this one and the clay spray is this has pretty much less of everything which is not a bad thing it just has less texture it's got less hold but I do think that the volume is actually quite nice it's pretty much the same as the clay spray and for that this too gets a now let's get into our stylers here starting with the texture clay this is a water-based styling clay that provides a medium to firm hold and a matte finish it was also designed for all-day hold with of course textured styles and it also remains pliable all day as well 
It comes in a four ounce amber glass jar for $20 with free shipping in the US. The consistency of the product itself is very smooth. This is a clay made with kaolin, which is a very smooth clay. And you can really see that in both the scoop and breakdown of the product. But of course, I'm starting the demo here with dry hair because you know we actually want to see the results of this clay here after all. And as I added in, that smoothness is very much appreciated because it applies and distributes so nicely. It just covers the hair like a warm blanket and then gives it a nice hug and says, let's do this together. I mean, seriously, this thing has nice volume, great texture, and fantastic hold. What we got here, I'd say, is more than a killer clay. We got a support system. And really, for that reason, this one gets two. Now let's move this train down to the land of the styling cream. This was formerly the water-based pomade in the old line. And so that's all the same here, water-based, but I, you know the drill. This though offers a medium hold with a low shine and nice versatile styling according to the brand, of course. And just like the clay, this one comes in a four ounce glass jar for $20 with again, free shipping in the US. Inside the jar on this one though, we got shocker, a creamy looking product. Really, this one has kind of a smooth, unorthodox water-based pomade feel to it. It's really creamy of course, but it's got a nice thickness to it that I think we see in a lot of pomades of that type. Now this one can be used in both tower dried hair or dried hair, but you already know which one I prefer. And adding this in here reminds me a lot of the texture clay with really just no dryness at all and a little bit more shine. This one actually brings in a bit of dampness in there. You can actually see it right there in my hair, that little bit of shine that comes in there. But with that shine, I think comes with a great helping of control and slick styling. My comb just slides away there and gets a really nice reaction from the product to build a solid and complete looking style. And just to switch things up here, instead of giving it a, I'm gonna go ahead and give it one cat with human teeth. And now we're moving here. We got two more left, starting first with the plant-based paste. This is new to the line and was created for pure versatility in style and hold. Now it does this through its plant-based ingredients. Technically it's aloe-based, but let's not get held up on technicalities. In the hair, it provides a solid medium to firm hold with a low shine to matte finish. The jar is the same, four ounces amber. The price here though is $22 with of course free shipping in the US. Inside the jar on this one, I think we got pretty much a textbook matte paste, which is, I believe, how the brand also describes this product, a matte paste. I mean, it's pretty much textbook matte paste. I mean, it's smooth. It's got some thickness to it. And did I mention it's smooth? I mean, really, it's smooth. I can also feel some stickiness there. That's getting me awfully excited because smooth and sticky usually win the race. Now, this one here says to use it in small amounts in either dried or blow dried hair. And of course, I'm opting for blow dried hair here because facts. And man, let me tell you, this one here was freaking fantastic to style with. And just like the texture clay, this one too contains kaolin, so that's what's giving it that nice smooth finish. The biggest difference though between this one and the textured clay is with this one, I feel like everything's amplified. The texture, the hold, volume, pretty much everything is taken up and made to be just more. And for that reason, this one gets a big three bedroom, two bath. All right, now we got our last product. This is the Hemp's Hops Wax Pomade. Say that three times fast. This was formerly the Hemp Oil-Based Pomade. This is a petro-free oil-based formula that's designed to nourish the hair while still giving it that power through a medium hold and high shine to satisfy all the slick styles in your playbook. Money-wise, we got the same amber jar for $18 with free shipping in the US. Inside the jar here on this one though is when things get interesting. This stuff is thick and I mean thick. I mean, I actually couldn't get the product out the normal way of scooping. So I had to use the back of my thumbnail here. But once you threaten it enough and get it out the jar, it actually breaks down quite easily, giving you a look at that oily, sticky, shiny goop. Now, because of the type of product this is, I am rolling with towel dried hair here. And really, it's easy to forget this is a petro-free formula because it really feels like a standard petro pomade. It goes in really easily, but you can feel that waxiness right away too. And it only takes a couple of scoops for you to really get a great style out of this product. The oil oils that are present here really make for some nice and responsive styling. The comb glides straight through there and the hair sticks together really nicely to create some great volume and super sweet comb lines. Now I know I didn't reward a to this pomade and that's mostly because of that scoop. That's my only piece of criticism here. So I thought I'd just knock that out right away. I mean, honestly, it was a knuckle buster for sure. It's a very thick pomade. You gotta use the back of your thumb to get it out. But on the flip side there, the styling was pretty killer. So you can kind of weigh that out on your own and see how that comes out for you as far as value versus knuckle busters. You know, 
It's a knuckle buster, but it styles really good. So you guys can kind of weigh that out for yourselves. Now though, because we are short on time and because we got through all the products finally, let's go through now a special shampoo speed round so I can get that info to you in a timely manner. And here we go. The two sprays, easy. Just water, no issue. The, the texture clay, same deal. Just water, no issue. The styling cream for sure needed shampoo, but just one. And the same goes for the plant-based paste. The pomade, even though it was petro free, still put up the same amount of fight when it came to the washout. So a couple of shampoos was needed or one round of the conditioner method which for those of you that don't know involve wetting your hair applying some conditioner yes any conditioner will do letting it sit for a bit before you move it around like a gothic dance party and then you rinse followed by shampoo just to reset things and you're done now wasn't that a good time if that is and I don't know what is in the end here I have to say I was wildly impressed by what this brand has done here for the most part as usual there are ones that I like more than others I mean that's pretty much standard with any line there really is no weak link though here per se within the entire line each product performs very well the two sprays work well I kind of prefer the clay spray over the the Dead Sea salt spray that, that that's the one I kind of prefer between the two I, I just think it because it had more effects overall it had more hole it had more you know pretty much everything but my point is even the Dead Sea spray had good results and as far as the stylers go the clay and the paste seriously well done all jokes aside these are two products that I think you guys should absolutely have on your radar I mean seriously I thought they were just really well done and as far as comparisons goes because I'm, I'm I know you guys are already rapid firing those comparisons quicker than I just you know blew out my ceiling I'm gonna try to make this extremely easy when I'm using them I am in my head I got these kind of sheer revival O'Dowd's type vibes you know the scoop the breakdown it's it's smooth like sheer revival but it's got that nice thick hold and and really nice endurance like O'Dowd's it's not a hundred percent like anything from their line though I mean the clay is really easy to work with and really smooth so it's got some attributes that are similar to northern lights or American gardens but on the other side it's got stuff that make it completely different than both of those at the same time which again is why I say comparisons make no sense if you want to know what these are like go back and look at the attributes go back and look at the styles that'll give you the best look but for those of you that just can't function without comparisons I kind of get some she revival slash O'Dowd's vibes from those but I don't think they fully encompass those two brands I think they're also very unique but that's pretty much my thoughts on that matter we don't really have time to go through all of them and what I think they compare to we got better things to do like talk about the styling cream which I thought was also quite good I felt like the volume was a bit light though and so was the hold but really that end result kind of makes up for that if I'm being honest it had great control not great hold but great control so it kind of evens out lastly we got this clay texture dust and for me this one was really good as well we just also saw a a texture powder from Duke and Hyde and I would have to say this one tops it because it's more dry it provides more texture and it can actually hold your hair somewhat I mean I haven't seen too many powders that can actually be used by themselves which I think is great and the fact that this doubles as a, a dry shampoo it works really well in my opinion so overall this line has got some serious players I think this was a, a great big step up for trade union supply and if you'd like to check out the products from this brand a link will be in the description there for those that are interested if you enjoyed today's brand showcase let me know by tapping that like button there dropping me a comment and most importantly hitting that subscribe button there thanks so much in advance for doing that take it easy i'll see you next time